Welcome to the Everyday Mom Challenge. This is episode 77. What can you do for God? Do good. This is dedicated to my sweet little cousin Sabrina because today at church she asked to read a Bible verse and as soon as she showed me in the pew which one it was going to be, I had been praying just an hour before because I knew that I was going to make my video today and I knew it, what it was going to be about. And God gave me the verse through Sabrina. And then it worked well with church and children's church and what was being said and what was being sung. And God just works that way. So this is for you, sweet girl. Keep reading that Bible and praising the Lord. All right. We're going to turn to Hebrews chapter 13. And we're going to look at verse 16. But to do good... And to communicate, forget not, for with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. You know, sometimes we can think we're not good enough or that what we can give may not be as much as, you know, we would like to give. And often then there comes that snowball effect where we say, well, we're just not going to do it all. And then we start feeling like, man, I, I wish I could give more. I wish I could do more. The Bible tells us do good. Do good. And it's not about outdoing your neighbor. Because we should all be brothers and sisters in Christ church as the same body working towards the good for God so it's not that we look at someone else who is doing good and they say oh I want to be like them and we put this person up here on this pedestal and we say well if I only had more money I would give like them if I could only have the gift they have then I would be able to use service more. If these little hands of mine knew how to build, I would be out working for the Lord. But you know, we can't do that because then it turns to coveting. And then we're going to envy someone else. And then we're going to think that that person is higher than us and that they're better than us. And then that's going to mess with our self-esteem. We are all what is it, one in the body of Christ. Let us not feel that we are puffed up one is better than the other. Let us, just, let us do good. Let us think good. Let us think good thoughts. You know, we can control that. That doesn't cost a dime. Let us think good about ourselves and others. When we see it and we look to other people and glorify them, it takes God away out of the equation. It takes God away from our sinner. We should be glorifying God. We should not be doing good for us or for them because we want them to think highly of us. We should do good to glorify His name and to be pleasing to God. Okay, let's go to Philippians. We're going to go to chapter 1. Let's look at verse 6. Being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. And you go, wait a minute. What good work did he perform in me? Hmm. 
That's the challenge today. Is for you to understand and grasp the good news. God sacrificed his son on a cross. In shame, you know, Jesus came and humbled himself. And he was obedient until the day. Here's the verse. I could share that one with you too. Chapter 2 of Philippians. Look at verse 8. Well, I can go, I've got to go up. Verse 7, chapter 2. But made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient until death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of of God the Father. All of that for the glory. Amen. If we want to look to someone and use them as a model, there's one place that we need to go. Not over here, not here. We need to be here. Look at the good that Jesus did. Look at his humble spirit, his openness, his willingness to be obedient and to serve, to guide, to lead, to chastise when needed, to speak the truth in all boldness. Preach the kingdom while we are here. Let us do good. You know, I've told you I'm that black and white thinker. <laughs> you're either doing good or you're not. You're either righteous through the grace of God, we're either striving for that righteousness. Or we're unrighteous. It might sound simple, but maybe it is. Maybe sometimes we like to use words and cloud it all up. Maybe we need to get back down to the basics, you know. And my little baby cousin, she got down to it today. Hebrews chapter 13. 16. To do good. <laughs> do good. And then I can hear people say, well, man, that's hard. Because it feels good to be bad. No, it feels good to be good. I know. This one knows. I find joy in being good. I'm not saying that I'm perfect. I am far from perfect. But I do try to be good. Good thoughts. Good speech. Good heart. Good action. So, what does God want us to do? He wants us to follow Christ, to be humble, to be a servant, to be obedient. You know, go through. Uh, a part of your challenge is to understand today. I want you to really dig deep. And I want you to understand the good work 
that has begun in you. And it starts to me with recognizing who Jesus is, who we are in Jesus, and who he is in us. Let us pray over that verse in Philippians chapter 2, the verses that I read. Let us do good to others. All right. There's a song. Kim Walker. I found it tonight. And when I listened, I said, yes, Lord. If we get to a stage and we say, gosh, it's just this. It's tough. I'm feeling a little down in the valley. I'm feeling a little defeated. I need you more. I need you more. We should always seek God more and more. I know I can never get enough. I can never get enough of His Word and His comfort and His healing touch on my soul. All right. Circle in chapter 2 in your Bible, Philippians. And I want you to look. Jesus didn't have the wanting that reputation, even though he got it because he did good. They flocked to him. He was a servant. He was humble and obedient. Amen. How can we do good? We all have a work in us for good, for the glory of God, not for us. Let us pray for that work to be established in our heart so that it shows in all that we do. Not just in one act of service and you say, oops, I did volunteer work today and I'm done with that. It is a life. I hope that you have a blessed day and I'll see you tomorrow.